Tonight, a new report on the former police chief of Oakland clearing him of any wrongdoing after Laron Armstrong was fired earlier this year. An independent investigation claims he should not have been terminated, but Oakland Mayor Shintao is defending her decision. Good evening. Thanks so much for being here. For the News at 11, I'm Julian Glover. Despite all of that back and forth, one fact remains true. Oakland is still without a permanent police chief since Armstrong was fired back in February. And just about an hour ago, the Oakland Police Commission voted to extend the tenure of interim police chief Darren Allison until a permanent chief is chosen. They also determined the search should not exceed another six months. This search for a new chief and holding our city leaders accountable is what we are committed to closely covering for you tonight. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn has been following these developments all night. She's now in the newsroom with the reaction to both of these big stories. Suzanne. So Julian, so many community members say they are heartened by the latest findings. The report resoundingly finds in favor of former Oakland Police Chief Laron Armstrong. Now tonight his supporters want the city to consider rehiring him. Chief Armstrong did nothing wrong. Tonight, Asada Alagobala wears the message she wants everyone to hear. Bring the former Oakland police chief back. What I want to happen is for this man's name to be cleared. A 55-page report by an independent arbitrator now exonerates Chief Armstrong of any wrongdoing. Allegations that he mishandled two incidents of misconduct within the department. The report determined that Armstrong's termination was illegal retaliation in violation of his First Amendment rights. I think this report is a clear vindication. This decision is one that I think allows for the chief to be reinstated. And I hope the mayor does that. Many say it's now up to Mayor Sheng Tao to make the next move, and they believe she should reinstate Armstrong. The new chief would have a, a learning curve that would take some time. It would make more sense, given where we are now, to have the, the, the former chief to come back. Oakland Councilman Noel Gallo says he's been in contact with Armstrong. And my communications with him, he's willing to be reinstated to come back. Many community leaders believe Armstrong makes the best choice. Chief Armstrong, he knows Oakland. You know, he has seen many years of our experience when it comes to public safety. Uh, he was part of the ceasefire, the gang, the gang injunction, uh, and dealing with many other law enforcement um, actions that we currently need today. Bishop Bob Jackson is with Axe Full Gospel Church in Oakland. He believes the mayor made a mistake and she can undo it. Everybody makes mistakes. That's why they put erasers on the back of pencils. Point of it is to say that she made a mistake and ask him to come back, maybe even apologize. Mayor Sheng Tao released this statement today. While the law prevents me from publicly discussing the details of the report, neither my administration nor the federal court agreed with Mr. Armstrong that the findings could be written off as mistakes. Oakland needs leaders, including at OPD, who will stand up and make tough decisions in the name of accountability and community trust. By immediately and prematurely standing up for himself personally, Mr. Armstrong failed to stand up for accountability at OPD. And tonight, the Oakland Police Commission talked about the new police chief search. At the next commission meeting, they will add a recommendation to reinstate the former chief or include him among the list of finalists. Meanwhile, Armstrong's attorney has reached out to city officials about being reinstated. Several people, including Councilman Gallo, say legal action could be taken against the city if the chief is not reinstated. In the newsroom, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.